Ah, ça Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. You know, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Today, we hear from Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster, and we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast. The segment, Do You Know That? I'll tell you something interesting you didn't know about some Mike's Daily Podcast. Recent fascinating news. So today, the new iPhone comes out. I don't give a crap, and I will shout that from the highest rooftops and they'll probably be able to hear me in san francisco because i'm not too far away all right there's a bay in between us so what do you want for nothing a rub biscuit mike's daily podcast and samsung i their phones are exploding mike's that's fine daily i've got mine Podcast behind a protective yeah. bomb glass because I don't want it to blow up. <laughs> no, you may not find out about the iPhone looks like or do the iPhone thing. You people, hey, what d- uh, happened recently was our president went to China and Apparently, they didn't give him the right stairs for his plane. And now, the conservative talk show hosts have a thing called Stairgate. Hey, why don't you conservative talk show hosts talk about your freaking Fox News debacle? Your, uh, the guy. Ailes. Ailment. Roger Ailment. That dude. What the heck? Roger Bill Cosby ailment and all the women he harassed. What kind of freaking messed up culture is that with your Fox News, huh? You, you, you know, men, do you love your wives? Do you love your girlfriends? Or are you sad like me? You don't have a girlfriend? Cheer up, chum. Things will get better. It'll get better for you. Don't worry. And you're going to treat your women like that? Great. Great job, Fox News. Oh, look, you just walked in. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How you doing? And to disgruntled fiddle player tell you what. What? Yeah, well, uh, Fox News is pretty messed up. It is. It, you can't deny that. I mean, you love your wife, Benita, don't you? I love her with all my heart. She's the, she's the apple of my eye. She's the... Beauty in my heart. Oh. There was a great song by the band known as... Oh my gosh, my instant recall is completely shot today. Um, Badfinger, thank you. Badfinger did a song called the Apple of My Eye that will just... Kill, if you've ever been through a breakup or a divorce or anything, will just kill you. And it's a beautiful song from the early 70s. As Willy Wonka is a beautiful movie from the early 70s that still makes me laugh. I was telling my roommate about it. Oh, look, Ross just walked in. And about how the humor of that m- movie is so today. It's dated so well. It's not dated. It's aged well, is what I'm saying. And hey, look who there just walked in. Hi, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. I brought my new friend. Oh, look. Uh, some guy with you. Hi, Mike. I'm Tim Cook. I'm the guy. Uh, what was that for? That's the uh, little bit of sound effect we throw in every show just to kind of wake people up. Go on. Yeah, I'm going to be unveiling today my new iPhone, and I'm really excited about it. And I think you should be excited about it, too, and buy one. No, I'm going to stick with the exploding phone for now. But, Mike, you're going to miss out on the best technology that's ever been made in America. That's all right, Tim Cook. You're awesome. I like to wear these shirts with the collar. You're very casual. It's very good. Very casual, indeed. 
Mark, who is that guy? He makes the iPhone products. What, that guy is here right now? Yeah, he's here. He's here, right here at Cafe Anyway. Well, that's surprising. It is, isn't it? Oh, wait, I think he just left. Mark, I'm going to leave, too, because I feel uncomfortable about all this news about Fox News. About how they're misogynistic and such. Bye, all bye. I think I got every other word. Um, yeah. So, Obama, the, apparently the stairs weren't the right ones for him. Oh, well. A new study came out. NPR did it. Saying that the... That when you talk, you should talk through your nose. And then you'll sound more like a... Like an announcer broadcasting person. Talk through your nose, everyone. Try it today. It's talk through your nose day. It's fun. Uh, what they discovered was something about trigger words. Triggers. Yes, they would. Their their teachers would warn their students ahead of time if there was going to be any uneasy, unsettling material that they were going to cover. Professors do that. Do they do that with? Did they do that with me when I was in school? Well, I was asleep. I wouldn't have noticed it anyway. But no, they didn't. The coolest thing a teacher ever did was talk about Suzanne Vega, a college professor. It was, ta- it was a, the boring, the most boringest, and that's proper grammar, the most boringest this class in the history of the world. And it was like Greek philosophy. Yes, it bored me. And I, oh, not only that, I had to get up super early, drive from Ventura to San to Galita. Which is an over an hour drive in the trap. Most beautiful drive, though, because you're driving up Highway 1 and 101. And Reagan talked about it at one of the debates, I think, against Mondale. And I just was, I'd be so tired by the time I get to class. And then he would talk about the most boring is this stuff. And then I fall asleep. But then one day he talked about Suzanne Vega. Because Suzanne Vega had written and performed a song. Who's Suzanne Vega? I'm glad you asked. She's married to Mitchell Froome. Or was. I don't know if they still are. Mitchell Froome. If you ever listened to Crowded House. He produced them. He produced Los Lobos. He was one of the most amazing producers out of the 80s. Just did, he had a fantastic sound. Look up his stuff. And Suzanne Vega did a song called Luca, and she's also known for that song. That the group DNA remixed. Because the original song was just an a cappella from that Luca album. Which I forget the name of it. Oh, Solitude Standing. There we go. Wow, my instant recall is moving a little bit, but now I think I need to read something. So I'll do that. But first, let me say Mike'sDailyPodcast.com, a wonderful place to go. If you would like to support the show and you're not averse to buying stuff on Amazon, click on that link at uh, Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. Buy whatever it is you're going to buy. And that helps us out tremendously. There's also the link uh, to PayPal. If you'd like to donate to the show, you'll get a special greeting from all the wonderful Cafe Anyway characters you've met. Tim Cook's not going to do anything, though. Because Tim Cook left. And then there's also the podcast picture. Oh, speaking of which, today's... And here's today's podcast picture. It's Basil the Boxer. Yes. And I was feeding him water. And he's gotten so good, he's able to lick water right out of the bottle now. Like a little baby. And I I was so happy when that happened because I used to have to carry cups around all the time and bowls for him so he could drink it out of that. But he now can do it that way. Keep your dogs hydrated. That's my suggestion. And this was taken at the Hayward Regional Shoreline. Again, another two pictures in a row. Wow, Mike, you're getting really lazy. So check that picture out, mikesdailypodcast.com. Okay. Oh, before we go to the Do You Know Dat segment, um, if you're listening to music on the radio, I suggest you stop right now and use one of the many, many, many internet radio stations that are on the radio. Uh, of course, there's the one that I work for on the weekend that I do. A, I do two shows, one on Saturday and Sunday. Enjoy the veal. On countrycrossroadsradio.com I've been doing that for over a year uh, About a year and a half now 
And it's a great Huge variety of country music And I know some of you are like Country, that sucks Well, thanks for your open-minded uh, response But there is some great music on this station We go back, way back to country's past And then play some of the new stuff And then play a lot of bluegrass And some Americana stuff That's every weekend I'm on from 2 to uh, 5 Monday, uh, Saturday and Sunday on countrycrossroadsradio.com But that's Eastern Time And then from 5 to 5.30 on Sunday I do a Or 5.30 to 6 I do some show called the Wood Songs Warm Up Show Because we bring you this live show called the Wood Songs Show Where people get on stage and play live on the internet radio It's awesome You can find out more there at mikesdailypodcast.com There's a link to all that And then finally If you So other internet radio stations that are cool Are the ones like Pandora Where you input like a song or an artist And they play you a whole radio station based on that Everyone's doing that now So it's not just Pandora Which I When I first heard about Pandora All the way back in 2006 I was 10 years ago For the past 10 years I've been listening to Pandora But I have gotten sick of it Because they do tend to play Like I remember I had a Mike and the Mechanics Pandora station And for some reason it kept playing Jesse McCartney's Beautiful Soul Which Uh that song, I don't know if you remember that, but it to me had nothing to do with Mike and the Mechanics. It will, it will throw something at you, at you like, wait, what, why? And you can always give it a thumbs down, but for some reason that doesn't seem to work. Even when you do a thumbs down, they keep bringing it back. I remember they kept playing Journey Separate Ways all the time on one of my stations, even though it was not a Journey station. So I don't know what... But there's other great channels. There's a Google Play now has a bunch of channels you can do. Um, there's You can do the same thing on Slacker. That's been going on for a long time. Last.fm is another one. Slacker actually has DJs pop up. If you get like the certain g- genre stations, they actually have a, a DJ that will come on and introduce some of the newer stuff. So... Do a search. Look around. Look at look on like Shoutcast and even tune in. Even though I kind of don't like that company anymore for various reasons, but there's all kinds of ways. And uh, I work with someone who just started a swing radio station called Swing Street Radio. So check that out too, if you like the swing music. All these great ideas. Uh, and if you of course have a suggestion for a radio station, you can email me. We'll pass it along on this wonderful podcast. You can email me at. Uh, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. We read your comments on the section. Oh my God! Email for me now at your calm at not so calm mess. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. We'll read those. And you can comment on Facebook and Twitter and all the other social media we are at. Hey, I, I one app you don't want to use for music is iHeart. The iHeart app, iHeart Radio app. It they are ridiculous. So I've been doing this podcast for a while, and they will not, they will not carry my podcast. They always come up with the craziest excuses. I just keep resubmitting it, resubmitting it. Whenever I submit it, it takes them six months to review it, and then it's back to oh no, we can't for some ridiculous excuse. So freaking forget them. In the CeeLo song Forget you And you know what I'm really trying to say As we bring you this segment It's Bison Bentley's Do you know that? Hey, this is Bison Bentley And Mike Matthews has a couple of stories That'll make you want to ask yourself Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know that? Roger Ailes to make $40 million By the way Leaving Fox News After all of the harassment he did. Good job, Roger. Bill Cosby Ailes. So, there really is a real Loch Ness Monster, Virginia. A 164 million old fossil of an ancient marine animal called the Store Lox Monster has been unveiled by researchers in Edinburgh, Scotland. 
This according to the BBC and AOL.com. And a report by The Telegraph. Scientists say it is the most complete skeleton of its kind that has been found in the country. Experts believe that the remains belong to an ichthyosaur, which one of the researchers has stated, quote, ruled the, wave, ruled the waves while the dinosaurs thundered across the land. The creature is estimated to have been about 13 feet long with a sharply protruding snoot and cone-shaped teeth. While the fossil had recently been unveiled to the public, it was discovered about 50 years ago by the manager of a local power station. He sensed the significance of the find and contracted or contacted a museum to collect them. Now a team of experts from the University of Edinburgh and National Museum of Scotland has been formed to further analyze the remains for insights into the creature's evolution. And they apparently lived during the Middle Jurassic period. You can actually watch a really funny sort of ode to Nessie and the Loch Ness Monster on the out it's like a special extra version on one of the how i met your mother dvds i think it's after uh the jason siegel and allison uh, uh ali uh the willow girl uh get married and they they go to scotland on their honeymoon to look for nessie and they have these weird sort of video t- um, documentaries of their as we go outside a cafe anyway we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mont and the last place on earth uh, Hannigan <laughs> next show it's going to be wow you know if I wrote everything down it would take me three days but it'd be much smoother than what you've just listened to Thank you, though, for putting up with the Daily Podcast at mikesdailypodcast.com. Next show, it's going to be Madame Ruta Vega, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.